It's just a worst case scenario. This diagram from a Texas Department of Public Safety crash report shows exactly how investigators believe the deadly March 22nd crash happened. It shows a concrete pump truck driven by 43-year-old Jerry Hernandez heading east on State Highway 21 crossing the double yellow lines and hitting the Hayes CISD school bus. CBS Austin spoke to uninvolved crash investigator Lee Jackson last week, who says these crashes happen in mere moments. One second uh, clicks off the clock and they're 180 feet closer. So things are happening very, very quickly at this point. Documents say the bus tried swerving out of the way when it was hit, spinning counterclockwise before rolling over once and coming to a stop upright. Five-year-old Ulysses Rodriguez Montoya was killed and dozens more were injured. Somewhere there's a family that is now incomplete. Uh, and uh, it, it just didn't have to happen. DPS investigators say the concrete truck continued driving in the wrong lane, hitting a Hyundai Tucson driven by 33-year-old Ryan Wallace and pushing it into the westbound shoulder. Wallace died at the scene. We also now know a fourth vehicle was involved in the crash. After the concrete pump truck hit the bus, a Toyota RAV4 traveling directly behind swerved across the center lines to avoid a collision, sideswiping the truck. The driver, 40-year-old Jason Mertz, wasn't hurt. The concrete truck then continued through a guardrail and overturned in a ditch. Court documents released last week reveal Hernandez told investigators he only got three hours of sleep the night before the crash and used marijuana and cocaine. Unfortunately, this is all too common of a sight uh, when we see uh, truck drivers falling asleep and drifting in oncoming traffic. The crash report also revealed Hernandez took a 15-minute nap before leaving the location where he was working prior to the crash. We're also getting a breakdown of the students on the bus with the report saying it held 18 four-year-olds, 23 five-year-olds, one six-year-old, and 11 adults. Those injured were taken to Seton Hayes, Texas Children's North, Del Seton, St. David's North, St. David's South, and Dell Children's. 14 were returned to the school and one person was picked up from the scene. It's just very difficult for everybody involved. And, uh, and the first responders, they'll carry it with them. Hernandez was arrested last Friday and has been charged with criminally negligent homicide. Obviously, this is a very preventable accident. Just not should have, should not have happened. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.